past 12 months have been and no doubt for you as well. Here we are, May, the month of the fixed earth sign of Taurus the Bull, shown in the tarot as the Hierophant card. So a quick overview of May is as follows major retrograde starts. So you're going to want to know about that. Stay tuned. Secondly, we have a spectacular aspect affecting us all that comes through all the water signs coming together and three planets affecting us all again, big time. Oh my God, if that isn't enough, we've got a super full moon and an eclipse. Wow. Action packed month. I do mean it. Here we go, people. The almighty sun shines its light upon us all through the energies of Taurus the Bull, staying in Taurus till the 20th. Then the sun moves into Gemini. So I hope you watched April's video last month because I was talking about a very important uh, aspect of a stellium which was occurring in Taurus. Did you watch? Well, if you didn't, you can go back and have a look because that stellium remains in action. The stellium refers to four planets in Taurus, Mercury, Venus, the sun, and Uranus, all in Taurus, making it, of course, a Taurus stellium, which brings Taurus's energies into our lives in bucket loads. And if I haven't said that already, have a look at April's video on how it affects us. Now, that stellium remains in action for the start of the month, of course, still in Taurus, and that's, again, once more, Mercury, Venus, the Sun, and Uranus in Venus till the 4th. But then, on the 4th, Mercury moves out big news into his home sign. This is big news, not only for Gemini's, but for us all. Why? Because Mercury rules Gemini. As in, Gemini is Mercury's home sign. And that includes Virgo as well, as Mercury rules Virgo, who will also reap the benefits of this transit. So this allows Mercury to be in his most highest power ever than he is in any other sign. In his elements, trotting his stuff, doing his thing. You get my drift? So everyone will benefit so long as you tap into it. Bringing us things like Mercury's attributes, quick thinking, learning quickly, the gift of the gap, quick journeys, quick contacts, uh, generally making us sharper in our lives more than usual. Venus then follows and also enters Gemini allowing Geminis to look good, attract and draw success towards themselves because Venus governs love, fun, frolics, romance, abundance, prosperity and all of those areas. So we will receive them through Gemini's energies. So both Mercury and Venus will be then in the sign of Gemini. So both planets in that sign of multiplicity, duality, mean that on a collective level, we could end up in some way, specific to you, receive into our lives more than a few options for, example, romance, fun, enjoyment, going after something that's creative. So multiple roads could open up for us, or more than one. Then on the 20th, the Almighty Sun follows suit, moving into Gemini. So Gemini, you have three energies in your sign, Mercury, your ruler, Venus and the Sun from the 20th are all three of them in your sign. This makes it a time, I'm going to underline this and pretend I'm putting it in red marker, Geminis, this is the time to go for what you want. That's what you've got to do. So moving on, I wouldn't want to bore you guys, <laughs> there's a powerful aspect I want to tell you about on May the 25th. So this is a grand water sign trine. A grand trine with all the water signs and three planets. A trine describes a relationship between the signs that is happening in and the planets that are occurring within those signs. Trines are great, harmonious, positive. They bring out the amazing parts of all that's involved, the signs and the planets. Mars, fiery Mars, in the water sign of Cancer, the Moon in Scorpio and Neptune in Pisces. Now this trine opens a door to the psychic within you. Your intuition, your senses, your inspiration, your emotional intelligence, your psychic intelligence, your creativity are enlivened and multiplied. Now, if you're able to tap into this, success can come from it. We've got a new moon on uh, the 11th in Taurus. And we have the trine on the 25th, which I've mentioned, 
after that trine we've got a big full moon which is a super moon alongside a lunar eclipse in Sagittarius and that's on the 26th. Now super moons can be either a new moon or a full moon that are closer to the earth than usual. That's the simplest way to explain it uh, so that you all can understand it. So the effects of that new moon or that full moon hit us a little harder because it's closer to the earth and so the energy is closer to us if I can put it that way. And that energy can be great, not so great, uh, or just good for us depending on what's happening in your lives specifically. Now the super moon eclipse happens after the trines. So the trines on the 25th and the, and the super moon is on the 26th. So both energies are multiplied as in the moon is waxing, it's getting bigger, so its effects are continuing to multiply in our lives and then we've got the trine happening. So uh, it's important to keep that in mind because it will affect you in different ways and that's specific to you. Finally, not least, Mercury, planet of communication, travel, learning, starts a retrograde in his home sign and I almost want to run and hide right now. It starts a retrograde from the very end of May, 30th of May to the 22nd of June, about three weeks. And retrograde fiascos and disasters are likely to be amplified even more. Why? Because Mercury is in his home sign. So it's a time to watch out and take care with your communication, all forms, written, spoken, body language. Watch out for miscommunications within yourself and with others. Watch out for misunderstandings again in your own mind and with others. The biggest communication we have is our own logical thoughts, mind logic, which during a Mercury retrograde gets thrown into a little bit of chaos. So watch out for that. This is a time not, not to start anything brand new, but instead carry on with what you'd already started before the retrograde, the day to day and your daily activities. Why? Because generally anything brand new, especially big projects that are started in a Mercury retrograde, rarely bring the results you thought they were going to bring. Done that, been there, done that one, got the t-shirt, never again will I start anything in a Mercury retrograde. And I was almost testing it and it, it kind of proved itself to me as in, it doesn't work! Action pack month I say. If you need me, you can book a reading with me here to get what's specific for you, not just general. And do check out your May horoscopes on my website blog page. Okay, it's over and out from me. Wishing you all an awesome month of May. Bye for now.